my dear Gemini, this is a love reading, a prediction for Leo season, July 22nd to August 22nd, 2020, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this will be a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign, and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways, the drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love reading for cancer season that is up. Uh, we are in the first period of cancer season right now when I'm posting this. Or you can check out the Pick a Card and Near Personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. So when I open your deck here, I see Five of Cups in the reverse uh, together with the Fool. So it seems like a new optimistic beginning where you are leaving some uh, sadness or disappointments behind. Okay. So I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the queen of wands together with the fool uh, in the reversed. Uh, so it seems also like you don't want to be the fool anymore. You don't want to be the one that's always getting disappointed. So... Uh, you want to take control over your life and be the one ruling uh, your life. We can see this grumpy little black cat here and uh, this woman, she's kind of uh, feisty but cool. Uh, so you don't want to uh, be someone's, um, uh, be a fool to someone anymore. Basically, that's what I'm feeling. So I called the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the devil uh, together with the fool so that's interesting uh, i actually want to take an oracle card for this uh, this devil here because it might be that you're repeating some kind of cycle here details 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 so i'm going to read this card for you 43 Uh, the most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. This is a time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes uh, for another time. When this card appears in the reading, it's sign uh, to finesse a project, make small but meaningful gestures or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you're the devil are in the details, do you say that? Mm. If you're entering into an uh, agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. Clarity and transparency are the key. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. So I'm, th I'm thinking that you have kind of, um, um, you know, come out of uh, uh, the ashes and maybe risking ending up into the fire. So um, even if we leave an old uh, situation behind because it made us constantly disappointed, it doesn't mean that we have heightened our frequency to a level where we won't encounter the same thing again. Uh, just because we left it behind doesn't mean we have worked through our own issues that kind of made us codependent to that disappointing situation in the first place. Uh, so you are in risk of uh, repeating some old uh, patterns. So pay attention to the red flags and the details. Uh, if you're engaging, for example, in a new relationship, we have the fool here, so it might be a new relationship. 15, 1 plus 5 is connected to 6, which is the lover's card. So it might be that there's a, a new relationship and you are going into this with high hopes and thinking like this time it will be great and you have the best intentions, but uh, you might still drag along with you your old pattern. So you might create again 
the situation that made you disappointed, but maybe with just with a new person or in a new situation, or you might still be attracted to the same kind of people that has or carries these patterns. Okay, uh, so uh, six elements. Earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today. Um, seven of swords, ten of swords. Uh, and <laughs> give us a clear view reading for my dear Gemini viewers. So, um, I want my dear Gemini to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny so with the ten of swords and seven of swords uh, i i was seeing uh, i think that a new situation that you're entering to might be as disappointing as an old situation uh, and you might be kind of um, tempted uh, if you feel like if it wasn't uh, it, if it wasn't an improvement to leave the first situation because the next situation is as bad, uh, you might get, um, you know, second, you might start to second guess yourself and, and want to go back to that old situation because at least the devil you know, you know. <laughs> but uh, don't do that. Continue working with yourself so you will be free of all kind of devils is what I'm feeling. Okay. So I'm just going to tune in here for a few seconds to you and your situation in Leo season Gemini. So my dear Gemini, this is the new bottom of the deck and it's a five of wands in the reversed. So if you find yourself in a new situation where you uh, have to go through the same combat or the same struggles um, this card is kind of advising you to uh, not engage just don't go into that situation don't fight for this okay this work with yourself and you will end up on a, a higher frequency level where you will attract better things so uh, don't really put in too much effort into a situation that is kind of looking like your old disappointing situations and here we have a page of wands and it's in the reverse so you have a longing for social situations and being with other people and surrounding you with joy and adventure and you don't want to you know sit around sulking at home or uh, being disengaged from your social life or from uh, dating and things like this um, but it's not particularly rewarding at this time. Uh, so you might meet new people, but it's going to be, um, it's, it's not going to be entirely satisfying. It's still going to be the same awkward situation uh, reappearing. And you might think it has something to do with you. Partly it has, uh, but it just has something to do with how, what you think that you are worth okay so decide that you are worth more uh, so you don't have to engage in the same stupid situation over and over again for eternity okay so this is what's most on your mind about what's on your mind about the person most on your mind that's what what i was trying to say this is the situation with said person and this is what's um, on their mind about you this is uh, your feelings towards them this is um, the energy between you the love or hate or whatever it is, whatever it is and this is there on their emotional level towards you and this is your behaviors and attitudes towards them the outcome in in leo season and this is um, uh, their behaviors and attitudes uh, towards you so we'll start with the situation here and we have a three of wands in reverse so you hope that now this time finally now now things are going to go smoothly. Now things are going to go as planned. Uh, now I'm finally going to get my big reward. And then it, it kind of didn't happen or uh, something was a little bit off with this. Something was um, uh, maybe the, the old partner came back or your partner was promising you the moon that finally they were going to change. 
and uh, you had a lot of hope and then you you kind of lost it. it it didn't go that way that you wanted anyways so and this is uh, what's on your mind about the person most on your mind and it's a um, uh, king of pentacles in the reversed uh, so king of pentacles can uh, represent a husband or a wife or a committed partner it can also represent capricorn taurus or virgo it can also represent a very stubborn person uh, that is not uh, able to take in new ideas and uh, uh, give up uh, their old uh, habits or their old ways of doing things so this is what you are feeling with them that they are too stubborn to to kind of even care uh, about engaging in Im improvement and that this person is so sure that they are right and, and you are wrong uh, that they can't uh, uh, even imagine uh, trying to put in work and effort. It's like there's no humbleness here. So this is what you are thinking about this person, that they are not humble and that they might also be a little bit uh, cold uh, towards you maybe exclude you from things or not being particularly welcome uh, not happy to see you not valuing you uh, things similar to this okay and this is what's on uh, their uh, mind about you and it's the devil so devil is also capricorn uh, as is this mainly but here we see um i guess well, it's Aries, <laughs> but it's Earth here. So anyway, our Taurus as well, but it's just showing stubbornness. So usually this is Capricorn, Capricorn. So what they think about you is that they are hopelessly tied to you, that they can't break free. So this um, attitude that where they're trying to show you that you are not valuable to them uh, anymore or never have been or won't ever be, uh, it's not really true, but... It's not that you have a value, it's more like they are addicted to you and that they can't uh, really break free. Uh, so I'm hearing a song, as I'm a little bit uh, fearful that it's the same song that came to uh, last month, but it's what it is. Uh, so this time anyway, I'm hearing Apocalyptica, Apocalyptica, I'm writing it down, um, see here. Um, what are they singing trying to hear okay i know i know the song anyway and i will put it in the description box um i don't know <laughs> what they are singing i just hear the melody right now uh, so i'm not hearing the lyrics but I'm, I'm knowing the content of this song and it's about not being able to let a person go even if it's not good for you even if you are kind of addicted to them uh, so um, I think they logically this person might think that it would be a good idea to let you go since they have kind of identified that you seem to be tied together uh, but it's not making you happy uh, so they would uh, prefer to to be able to let you go um, but instead they might uh, trying to figure out ways to manipulate you into kind of becoming chained to them maybe they hope themselves they can be free maybe they can be this devil here and only you will be tied here that would be nice uh, because then they would be fine and in control uh, and you would be also in control <sighs> controlled okay uh, so someone not appreciating being vulnerable or, or being the one uh, kind of not winning or failing or the one left still loving while the other one has has moved on uh, so things like this and this is the bond between you and we have the hangman so it talks about time if you're trying to escape an old relationship or an old situation uh, it it might you might still be let loose we have this person is tied here uh, with their foot and here these people are uh, kind of tied with with chains uh, so there's a situation which has an emotional tie or um, it's like a deep desire maybe to be able to fix the situation even if every logic 
uh, every judgment you make over the situation logically is saying no it's better to let it go it's better to walk away this is not going to work out uh, but it's still something you know pulling these people together pulling you together with this person uh, but it says that when you have been able to kind of make this full lap of um, learning you have finished your course in being tied to the devil and knowing how to get yourself out of that uh, you are going to be released uh, and you are able to move forward again this is 12 1 plus 2 is 3 we also have a tree of wands here so you want something else you want something better for yourself uh, but it's not uh, it's not happening as of now it's not happening at this moment if you would engage in a new relationship now or in an old relationship, uh, you will have the same problem. So it's better to work with oneself and um, your own self-value uh, to attract better things into your life. So this is what's on your emotional level uh, towards this person. And it's a five of cups. So this is at least a relief. This person can be as stubborn and you know difficult as they want. Um, it doesn't matter to you that much anymore. You have started to overcome the disappointment and uh, they don't have the same emotional power over you. Uh, so you don't feel the same loss when this person is acting like this. Um, it's like it's not touching your back here is what I'm feeling. You, you can be free from it, have some distance towards it. There's still two cups standing here, so it might still be love. Uh, but both people are kind of um, ignoring each other and pretending like the other person doesn't matter. So um, that's not a way to be in a loving relationship. And you are probably like this because you have been, this is a card of disappointment. So you have been disappointed many, many, many times. So you have your reason uh, to not engage. The other person's reason might be uh, a tiny bit selfish like they want to have this power over people uh, or not have to uh, lose their face or uh, lose their dignity or self-respect it's better if you do that if you lose your dignity and you lose your self-respect and you do everything that's awkward and uncomfortable uh, and they can do their own stuff that's more suitable for them and making them happier so it's a little bit on the selfish end maybe and this is um on their emotional level towards you and it's the sun here in the reverse so as soon as i took this card up i felt uh, a nervousness in my stomach uh, so it's a person that might think that you are their whole world uh, but it's kind of lying to themselves about this fact so they don't want to uh, admit to this and uh, uh, they are kind of persuading themselves that things aren't in this way and we can notice that the devil uh, is often called the shadow is the shadow and this is the light uh, and the light here is in shadow because the sun in the reverse it's like a cloud a day so even the in the clearest moment this person uh, is in the shadows <laughs> okay so this person on this side is going through something uh, they have kind of lost themselves into uh, the fogs. They probably had like, um, I'm feeling like an elevated position in your relationship. And um, they would want to prefer to have that back. But since it's not like this anymore, because you don't want to be disappointed anymore. Um, you are probably, uh, you are probably... Uh, leaving this person with a feeling of wanting the old back so they can't uh, comprehend uh, what has happened they can't accept they're still maybe telling a little bit of stories to themselves um, that they were the one getting tired and they are so over you and they don't want anything to do with you anymore or things like this but uh, it's they're lying to themselves on every level so this person would be fairly lost and don't know which way is up and which way is down and might feel very confused and disoriented. Uh, so they are going through a little bit of a crisis here. It's two major arcana card and we have the hangman also being a major arcana card. So it shows the person going through some kind of um, personal growth, uh, traumatic, <laughs> traumatic energy that kind of wants to transform this person into sacrifice their, their ego and become like a normal person okay so um, no real 
um, desire to see the truth here. And when you don't see the truth, you can't be set free. You will still be stuck with the devil. So this person is in more trouble than what you are. You seem to detach yourself just fine. Uh, it's just that you have to give up uh, dreams of you thought maybe that finally I'm home. I have found the right person. I'm going to be happy. Uh, and then no, no. And it doesn't have to be. Uh, dealing with even love relationship this can be also a, a career for example where you are promised uh, like everything and then someone was um, sheeping out on you and not giving you what they promised what they told you that I will fulfill your needs you will get this and this and this and then they broke their promise you know this details 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 it might be that you will end up in similar situation where people will break their promise to you uh, again uh, so uh, be aware of the red flags. You know now how people uh, might uh, try to manipulate you, you specifically in, in spe very specific kind of ways that has to do with your pattern. Uh, and you can be attentive to this. Uh, you don't have to be overly scared or overly judgmental or anything like that. Just notice, okay, so this person is um, going with this person. I'm probably going to repeat my old pattern. So thank you but no thank you I see it come it comes crawling kind of the same same behavior which you might have seen with other people before and which you don't desire to encounter again so you you're not trailed but you are not um, you're not depending on this situation anymore so you can play it kind of cool so that's good and this is um, uh, your behaviors and attitudes and we have the fool in the reverse. So you don't want to be um, this person's fool or any person's fool. So you're not going to throw yourself uh, fully into a new situation. If the new situation or the old situation or the situation you are in is not giving you what you want and need, uh, you are not going to sacrifice yourself on the altar of uh, uh, being the bigger person and being brave and fixing things. Because the fool is the person that is not scared of uh, being vulnerable, is not scared of what might happen or the consequence. So this person can be, oh, I love you so much. Um, I want to be together with you. Uh, things <laughs> They can say things like this. Um, and the other person will say, I never intended this. I just wanted you to, uh, I just wanted to have fun, whatever. Uh, and um, um, this person has really no problem of engaging themselves like this because they want to give their life the best chance that there is. Uh, they want to make the best uh, out of every situation. So um, they are jumping into situations and making really great effort. But the great thing with the fool is also that they can move on as easily if um, uh, they jumped into something where they didn't want to stay and swim around in. Uh, so again, this um, showing that you have still this beautiful trait with you uh, where you can throw yourself into new situations and create uh, beautiful, beautiful things. So you don't have to stay and swim around with crocodiles if you don't think that that's fun. Uh, so again, it's showing this disengagement from you uh, that, yes, you're still this uh, fool kind of personality that um, takes life and you know what you want, so you go and grab it. But if it turns out to be, you know, the gold turns to, out to be sand in your hands, you're not the one sticking around uh, crying over spilled milk. You will engage yourself in another situation that's more promising and you still have the same power to do that. That hasn't changed. It's just that when you throw yourself into a new situation, you want to see that the other person is there for you too. So it's not that complicated. And this is um, uh, the other person's um, uh, behaviors and attitudes. And we have a 10 of coins. So it's a 10. We have 19 here. 1 plus 9, 10. Uh, so it's something that was very fulfilled for them to be with you. It was like the greatest thing ever. It, it was real value. Uh, but maybe they took you for granted or they put themselves in a very favorable position in, in this situation. So they didn't really appreciate you or uh, maybe being so grateful for you being there. there. Uh, so now they just have to accept the fact that um, 
they might still think that you are the most valuable thing in their life, but they don't really have access uh, to your valuable goods anymore uh, because you have disengaged on every level. Okay, uh, so this is uh, the outcome. And here we have the Knight of Swords in the reversed. So Knight of Swords in the reversed. It's feeling it's like your energy and uh, maybe you want this to sting even a little bit more for this other person. Uh, spark. Um, it's not like you're totally disengaged. If you want to take revenge and, you know, making this person suffer even more, uh, maybe parading uh, your new situation in front of the old person um, or things like this. Um, it's... Um, you still have a little bit of interest we can see this here so you're playing in this direction for someone here but the hearts is going in another direction so what's up with that uh, Gemini but it's a kind of spiteful <laughs> the knight of swords in the reverse so it's more like rubbing in the salt in someone's wounds and uh, maybe that's what how they did you uh, in the past <laughs> and well uh, I'm not the one to judge. <laughs> okay, so uh, you are a clear channel for divine creativity. There is a spark of creativity in you and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show its beauty and your part in co-creating it. Um, so it's the fool, uh, you know, this way you can create whatever new situation you want because you have this kind of power. You're not the one sitting waiting for someone else to take charge. Um, this is a perfect time to give birth to an idea, start a new relationship or job or begin any endeavor. Attraction is high as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn to a flame and stoking the fire is a gratifying activity. Um, and um, we can see both all these cards here are in the reverse. So I'm actually going to read the reversed option a bit of it anyway. Uh, so you will get even more depth to this and to the understanding of what's going on in this last row here with the outcome and people's behaviors and attitudes. Sometimes you your fire gets dosed by others who don't want to be all that you can be, don't want you to be all that you can be. In the case, you need to move away from the water, lest things get too damp. The spark card in reverse position may also indicate that you're allowing yourself to be so consumed uh, by thought, feeling, or situation that you're in danger of becoming completely burned out. Compulsion and impulsiveness must be tem tempered now. Rest by a warm fire, let things die down a bit, then you'll see if the true spark will still be there. If not, you can always light another fire at another time. Uh, so it kind of talks about maybe you wanting to rush into something new very quickly, maybe to take revenge on this old thing here. And um, well, you can do that. But um, as I said from the beginning of this reading, you will get a better outcome for yourself if you engage in um, clearing out your own energy everything that made you accept uh, this um, um, codependent situation where you were wanting to create a lot of things but only got disappointed because you didn't have uh, really a partner to work together with with these things because the other person uh, maybe felt like they should have some kind of special uh, treatment sitting on <laughs> their high horse this little baby and here the devil sitting on this little pillar here um, and um, if you would work on yourself and see why you allow this and and getting more attentive to not allowing these kind of things in the future uh, you would be able to build um, uh, relationships with uh, a better foundation so that's the only warning in other case you kind of seem fine you're not happy with how you had to give up your dream but you're fine and you're also a little bit um, spiteful or full of this uh, I, I'm going to show you um, um, I, I might hear this <laughs> song I'm going to show you crazy um, 
show you. Crazy. Uh, uh, so, a uh, little bit of revenge is in the air, <laughs> okay? So, my dear Gemini, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you like my content and want to support my channel, you can do so not only by watching, uh, which I'm very grateful for, but also liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing my videos. You can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box or you can make Google donate by clicking my ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. That's keeping my humble revenue up so I can make more content like this for you on this channel. Thank you so much in advance and I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. Your amazing comments always make my day and until next time, take really good care. Good care and bye-bye.